Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech and iOS 10 has been out for about 48 hours, maybe a little bit longer, and I've been using it the entire time. So I thought I'd share with you my top five favorite iOS 10 updates or features. There's quite a few different features here, but these are my top five. The first one is notifications. So if we pull down from the top, we've got our notifications and thanks to everyone that's commenting and subscribing. And if I 3D touch on these, I can pop this open and do done or snooze and it goes away depending on what app it's through. Here's the YouTube studio app. I can dismiss it and so on. I can slide to the left and clear it or clear them all together. If I hit this little button here, they also show up on the lock screen and I can actually act on them the exact same way, which is really nice as well. I wasn't so sure I liked that bubble style but it reminds me more of iOS 6 and I actually really like that. So that's my first favorite feature. The next one is raise to wake. Now this is a pretty minor sounding feature, but if it's off, you pick it up, it wakes up and then you can see your notifications, put it back down, leave it alone and it goes to sleep again, raise to wake. And there's another one and you don't have to pick it up fast like that, but you can do that, act on that and hit done and it goes away. Really nice, convenient feature, especially if you just wanna check the time or something and not unlock your phone, just turn it on. The next feature that I really like, and this is one that most people are going to really like, is you can delete Apple apps finally. Not all of them, but a good majority of them. So if I press and hold, oh, that's 3D touch, let me press and hold here. There we go. And you'll see that we can delete stocks. We can delete compass or voice memos. We can delete iTunes store, the iTunes store and find friends in, well, those were added later, but basically almost every app, the watch app you can delete. And it's really nice. We've been wanting to do this for a very long time. We can't delete a few of these. Find iPhone is built right into the system as is health and wallet. So that makes sense and activity. So we don't need to hide too many Maybe someday they'll get rid of some of those, but these are pretty integral apps at this point, really tied to the system. So it's really nice that we can finally delete all of those different apps. The fourth thing I really like that's kind of controversial is Apple Music. Now, it's not that I necessarily like Apple Music itself in the design. I do like that they changed it dramatically so that it's easier to use and easier to understand. So if I go to an artist, for example, and then say I go down to... Uh, another artist here. Now I do have iTunes match, which matches different music and things that I own, but I don't have Apple music right now. So if I go to say purity ring, go into here, you'll see that these are all grayed out. That's because I don't own them. I downloaded them at some point, but I don't have Apple music anymore, so I can't play them. So if I tap on this, it says item not available. So I'll hit okay. And that's fine. So unfortunately I can't, can't play it because I don't have Apple music, but at least I know what's going on right now. We can also go back to library and see our downloaded music. So these are all the things downloaded and installed really nice, but unfortunately the other things I can't play, but I can play whatever I already have on here or uh, have installed as far as Apple music. I keep getting quite a few different notifications. So let's go home here. Now, the fifth thing I really like, and I thought this was going to be gimmicky at first is messages. This has got to be one of my favorite things. So this is actually my brother and you'll see, I have some Mac apps and some of the things I've shown in another video, I went over just about every feature Apple announced uh, at their keynote and mentioned a couple other little things, but I didn't show you all of the messages and messages is fine. You can type and say things like, hi, how are you today? Period. Uh, what were you up to? Question mark. So if I hit done, it obviously types in what I said. Let me do one more thing. I'm recording a video right now and just testing this out. So the nice thing is supposedly Siri is built into this and a little bit better and it understands different languages better. Supposedly only time will tell, but if we hit the emoji icon, it will highlight any words that it thinks it can emojify is that's, that's the word they actually use. So you'll see the word high is highlighted in orange. If I hit that, I've got a little icon. I can hit it again and it goes away. Now, the nice thing is if I want to send this a little bit differently, all I do is hold down on the send button and it pops up. I can send it as gentle 
so it's little. I can actually hide it so we can reveal it by, by moving our finger back and forth. We can make it loud so it gets big just like that. We can also slam. And then we have these screen effects. We've got balloons. We've got confetti, a little light show, laser here, fireworks, and a little shooting star. All really nice. So let me show you how this works. I'll just send this one real quick. And my brother will see the same thing as long as he's on iOS 10. That's really nice. Now also, this comes in and we've got the ability to do the written words like hi. We've also got the ability, you'll see that just came in and said awesome. And then we've got the ability to just write. We can make it bigger and make it easier. And send that. And it just writes out and he sees it right out like that. We can tap and hold and do the heart rate or just tap like, oops, we've got to tap here. And you'll see there's a couple different options also. Pretty neat. And then we have a little app drawer. Now this is going to be great. See, it's not showing up in, it's a beta, so it's a little bit buggy. It's not showing up properly sometimes, but this is basically apps you can use that are built in. So if I tap on this one, we can send that. Pretty nice. We've got all sorts of different options, classic Mac images. You can search for images, all sorts of things showing up, animated GIFs, and all sorts of other things that we can add later on as people add different applications to give us more options into here. So all of these things really make messages is something that I use quite a bit, make messages that much more rich and, and useful. Some of these are gimmicks, yes, but I use a lot of these different things. And you'll see my brother sending, I think, a heart rate or something, uh, but it's popping through and it's really nice. You can also paste text links with videos in them. Let me paste here. You'll see if I paste this in. I think this is a Battlefield 1 video maybe. Oh, no, it's my logo, so that's pretty neat. It just pops in there based on whatever the link is, so it's pretty neat. And that's something I really, really like. So I like messages a lot. If you have any features that you like better, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.